Hello, in this video I am going to compare the movie Como entrenar a tu dragón, the first and dear version. This film in general is about a viking town that was dedicated to hound the dragons. An aventure comedy set in the a mythical world of purely pickings and fire bending dragons and based on the book by Crazy the Cowell. History revolvers are a teen like viking named Hippo, who lives in Berg Island, where where a fig dang dragons is the usual way of life. The teenager rider progressive views and inconvenient saints of Umer Dome did well with either his try or his boss, who also happens to be a stoico Ippo's father. When Ippo is injured, of four dragon training along with other beginning teenagers. He sees it as an opportunity to prove that he has what it takes to be a warrior. But when he encounters an injured dragon and ends up bedfriend him, his war is turned upside down. At what started out owes a chance for Hippo to prop himself turns it on an opportunity to completely change the future course of the world being the team. In the third movie, Hippo is a governor of Berg in Lang and Longs Astri. Hippo has weighed a deeply chaotic usopi plagued by dragons. But when the sudden appearance of a family like Fury Coincide with the dark day that the bee has ever faced. Hippo and Chimuelo must leave begging the only home they ever and know to journey to a hidden world that seemed only a myth. As they discover their destinies, the dragon arrived will fight together to the ends of their air, the protect what I love. Well, as I said, the versions that I am going to compare of this saga are the first and the third films of this. In the first film, it tells the beginning of the adventure of the speaking stone in the time of the protagonist Hippo, who does not have the skills to kill dragons, but to try or tame them, and he discovers this when he meets Chimuelo, a dragon that no longer he can fly, so he had to take care of him and thus be able to learn more attitudes of the dragons. On the other hand, in the third movie, it is the end of this aventure, since there were more dragon slayers, so they wanted to catch the dragons that Hippo had, especially Chimuelo, so that they would not take them away. Hippo had the solution of leading bow to the dragons so they could hide and form their lives. For me, the best film between these two is the third film, since it has more drama and nostalgia when leaving the dragons and that they were divided between humans and dragons for a common good, marking the end of their great adventure. With the above, I can recommend the third movie, saying it is the end of a very moving easter between human and dragon. In addition, the presenting the young epos, but to adult life and making decisions that benefit everyone and not just his wishes or dreams but I cannot take away the importance of the first film because it is the history of who the Dragon Rider relationship began.